Hey y'all, it's Sarah, your health coach, and um, today I thought, I've been thinking like it would be kind of interesting if I started doing some videos about um, different experiences that I have with different uh, clients in my in my clinic here. And I just thinking about, you know, certain things can help, like um, what I've come across recently is a couple of my patients um, or clients that have started gaining a lot of water weight and when you switch to kind of a low carb or a ketogenic diet what I find is that people tend to rely a little too much on cheese and that some people have some kind of dairy issue and that that may be causing them to cut to to hold some water weight now I don't have any scientific findings behind it I just have clinical practice and I have a couple of patients that um, are clients I'm sorry when I'm in the doctor's office because my office is in a doctor's office I say patients although I am not a doctor so I cannot call that they are not my patients right I'm not diagnosing anything um, so their clients or dieters um, <clears throat> But it usually just depends on who I'm talking to. Um, so anyway, but when I am seeing some people like come in and get on my scale, and my scale, each time people come in, it, it tells water weight and muscle mass and fat mass and all those things, things so that I can kind of compare. Um, a lot of times people will say I didn't lose any weight, or I've actually gained. I had this guy yesterday, and he was like, I gained four. I gained. How much did he gain? Five pounds. He gained five pounds, but um, his fat mass was actually down, but his water weight was way up. And so I just asked him, like, how much dairy have you been eating? And he said, I, I've, I've probably been eating a lot. Like, you just, it's easy to grab a cheese stick, right? It's, um, it's just easier when you're not, you're just starting into keto or low carb to just grab a cheese stick because that's easy. But if you start to see that you're bloating, um, and just holding some water weight, then it might be a good idea to kind of limit the cheese for a little while or kick out the dairy for a little while and see if some of that water weight releases. And then you know that maybe you have a little bit of a sensitivity. Whereas you're not going to notice kind of, some people don't notice so much a gastric issue, but they definitely um, feel like a little bloated when they eat dairy. So um, if you feel like you're not losing weight or you're kind of in a stall and you, you find yourself relying too much on cheese, um, maybe take that out for a little while and then reintroduce it and see if you notice those those symptoms coming back. So take out the dairy for a week or two and then reintroduce it and see if you're noticing any of that bloating or the water weight starting to come back and then you know that you probably do have an issue with cheese. Um, so then you can try different kinds of cheeses or just do, um, while, while keto is a little harder without cheese, it's not impossible, definitely. So, um, definitely um, just give it a try and think about it okay so I I think maybe I'll try a few more of these videos just to see what everybody thinks if they like me kind of talking about what I'm finding in my practice and and who I'm seeing and little tips and, and tricks that might help you in your health journey all right talk to you later bye